Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own red arrows. There's three different kinds here. You got this one right here with the little outline, black outline. Second one here with the black outline with the shadow as well. And this one with the black outline with the shadow and the little dots. That looks really cool. So I'm going to show you how to do this today for free. So I'm going to come over to photop.com. Click on here. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Now all I need to do is go to new project. I'm going to do width 19. 20 by height 1080 create so from here we're just going to start off real easy we're just going to come over down to the right and this little tool right here i'm going to right click on the pen click on pen as you see nothing happens you come up here to path come down to shape right there now for the fill up here we're going to click on this there's the red classic clickbait arrow color and i'm going to cut stroke stroke is fine on its own we'll leave that alone so we have this now. All you need to do is click anywhere you like. Let's say here. Come straight across. And you're going to click and hold down. Hold down. And you're going to come up just ever so slowly to the right side. A little bit like that. Now again, if you mess up this, you can always control Z to go back. So you can start again if you do mess up. It's going to come across again. Up ever so slowly. A little bit to the right. There we go. And from here, you're just going to come above this dot. And click around there. And you're going to go up. You're going to hold it down and come up. They get that bendy shape. And that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, you can always control Z, control Z, start again, just to make sure you have it the way you want it. Again, we'll try this again, above the dot. Uh, it looks pretty good. We'll leave it there. So that's perfect. That's our first part now done. All I need to do now is come down to the bottom right and come down to right there, new layer. So we have a new layer now. So that's the first shape, second one. All we're going to do now is come above here, just a little bit past this line. Click right there. I'm going to hold down shift on your keyboard and that will give you a straight line. Click right there. Perfect. And then come right across to around there. You've got your arrow again. If you want to do it different, you can come all the way out here. Control Z to go back. Even a tiny arrow, Control Z. But for this video, we will just do right there. Perfect. Now, all we need to do from here is come down and see the layer is selected. Select whatever layer you like out of the two that we have. Hold Control. Select the second one. Now, the boat lighting up, we just right click any one of these and go to merge layers. Now they become one. So we're gonna come up here to our movement tool. So we can grab it, move it around. There we go. You can make it bigger, of course, smaller. And we will rotate it like this. So we have, again, similar. Now we're gonna get into the details. So we're gonna add the outline. All you need to do is go down to the shape right there. Right click, blending options. Come to blending options, click on this. Now we're gonna move this window out of the way so we can see what we're doing. We're going to come down to stroke, select stroke, right there, and we're going to make the size, the color is already black, so we'll leave it on black. Now size, you can have a really exaggerated if you want, something really silly looking, <laughs> or you can come down to just a normal size. We'll leave that around 20, 18, 18 or 20, it's all good. We'll do 20, and we'll say okay. And there you have your first arrow, so that's the first one. Again, you can reduce the number from 20 down if you want less thickness. It's going to come over here, now all I need to do now you're just going to grab this so it's selected, select your shape, hold alt on the keyboard and drag. So you get a copy. That's here, a copy right there. So we have a new one. All we need to do now again is come down to the copy, shape one copy, right click. We're going to go for the, this effect, the shadow effect. So again, right click on the copy, blending options, come down to drop shadow right there. Click on this. You can already see it already appeared. From here, the opacity, we can raise the opacity. Make it a little bit darker. About 80, 83. The angle is important. See angle. So you can turn it and twist it. Leave it around there. Distance. Further. Closer. A little bit far away. About there. Spread. You can do that if you like as much as, much as you want. But it's going to add a bit of thickness. So we'll keep that low. And the size. We can increase that for the extra shadow effect. So we put that to about 40. 41. Well, you can you can play with these. It's up to yourself, personal preference right there. And that is the shadow effect right there. So we have the plain one, the one with the shadow. And of course, next, we want to copy this one. Again, hold Alt, drag. We've got a new arrow right there. So put you over there, put you over there. Now we're going to get the dots effect, this little cool little effect right here, which I think personally looks the best. So we're going to come over here again. And again, here's the copy two we've selected. Right click blending options again and this is very simple come down to drop shadow 
and the noise. You want to increase the noise. Right there. Perfect. So we can put about 16, 17 looks pretty good, 15 looks pretty good. Any more than that, I just it's overkill. <laughs> I mean, take a look at that. It's still okay, I guess, but it just has that. It's over the top grainy. Just gonna come down to blending options again. Drop shadow, reduce the noise to about eh, 15 looks pretty. 16. 16 looks pretty good. So there we have the arrows. Playing, shadow, shadow, and noise. Again, you can play with all the options. You can go into blending options. You can do loads of different things. It is really up to yourself. And there you have your arrows. Fantastic. There you go. That is free. It's all free. You can do what you want with those now. You can make your thumbnails in here in Photo P. And you can add these, of course, and just throw them wherever you want for that um, clickbait thumbnail. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.